As you're probably well aware, our DNA is like this humongous blueprint of information on how to make a human. Usually this massive document is packaged up nicely into a storage bin called a chromosome. Actually, usually we have 46 chromosomes that we use to neatly organize all our information, depending on how you define organize. Each of the 46 chromosomes is actually part of a pair of chromosomes, since you get one from each parent, so 23 pairs. If you wanted to make another human, first you'd have to find someone that feels the same way, and then you both contribute half your chromosomes, so from each pair, right? 50-50. Now, what if someone contributes one too many? Say dad contributes 23 and mom contributes 24. Is that possible? Yes, and it's the basis of one of the most common chromosomal disorders, Down syndrome. Someone with Down syndrome has 47 chromosomes instead of 46. Specifically, they have an extra copy of chromosome 21. So instead of 2, they have 3. So Down syndrome is also known as trisomy 21. In other words, 3 chromosome 21s. There are several physical characteristics as well, like a simian crease in the hands, a gap between the first two toes, a flat facial profile, and epicanthal folds.
This patient has a diagnosis of Down syndrome. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder having some degree of developmental delays. These delays can range in severity from mild to moderate. Some of the underlying areas that are affected in development are poor muscle tone, which is affecting strength and endurance, broad, short hands with relatively short fingers, which decreases coordination for both gross motor and fine motor activities. Also, these patients tend to have decreased sensory processing, which impacts successful participation in all environments. Individuals with the diagnosis of Down syndrome benefit from occupational therapy intervention to promote appropriate sensory, motor, and cognitive activities with the overall goal to help these children develop motor skills, language skills, social skills, and self-help skills that encourage the highest level of function. The following patient is using an obstacle course in this treatment session to facilitate basic sequencing, direction following, gross motor coordination, and functional strength and endurance. Oftentimes, the obstacle course will incorporate movement such as spinning, as in this treatment, to increase the child's sensory arousal level, which in turn increases the patient's personal motivation to participate. Incorporating more learning type tasks such as a puzzle or a writing skill is one way to break up a difficult task. Bounce on ball. <gasps> okay, let's get, can we get the ball to bounce on? Yeah. Oh, let's get that. It's over here. Delays in language skills can be very frustrating for many of our patients. However, using language strategies such as pictures and communication devices increases patients' social interactions and personal language skills. I want bounce on ball. I want bounce on ball. <gasps> Very good! Okay, get on the ball. Here you go. Yeah, that's true. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.